In this lesson you'll learn the basic way to embed an SQL query in a PHP script and intersperse static HTML with PHP code so that dynamic data can be displayed in the browser. To display data we first need the SQL query to select all the data from the test DB table and we need to embed this in PHP. Can you remember the SQL query which uses select from which would return all records from a table named test underscore DB? Try now to write this SQL query just as we did in the chapter on MySQL. As we're already connected to the database, there's no need to specify the database name. The table name alone is enough. Pause the video now and see if you can write this before I give you the answer. The answer is select star from and then in back ticks test underscore db. Now add on a clause to order the results by the field called name. You add order by name. That's the SQL query we need, but as it stands it's not usable in PHP. To make it usable we have to surround the whole of the SQL query in double quotes and assign it as a string to a variable which I'll call $SQL. Now to run this SQL query we use it as the argument of another MySQLi method. This time we use the method query operating on $SQL. And we assign the result of this method to another object and we call this $Result. Then we can access different parts of this $Result object with various different MySQLi methods. To return the results in an orderly way, we loop through them using a while loop, using the fetch object method. While, and then it's parentheses, $Row equals $Result, and then forward arrow fetch object, and it's parentheses, and then braces. Fetch object returns an associative array with key value pairs just as we saw earlier, the keys being the field names in the table. Now we loop through the records assigning the values of each row to variables. We get the values of each key using dollar $row, forward arrow and then the field name. So to get the value of the ID for the current row and assign it to a variable named $ID, we use $ID equals row arrow ID. Then we repeat this for the other field names in the table. So we have $Name equals $Row arrow name, $Password equals $Row forward arrow password, and $Secrets equals $Row forward arrow secrets. Now type in echo and then inside double quotes type in the variable names separated by a space in between each of them. And refresh the page in your browser and you should see the full set of data from the table. But that really is messy because I've forgotten to put in any new line breaks after each row. So we put in br tag at the end and go back, refresh and that's better. But we're not quite done yet with displaying database records as HTML. We need to guard against characters in the database which could cause problems for HTML. We do this by passing the database result through a built-in PHP function called HTML Entities, which converts any problematic characters to HTML code. Around the dollar $row object, and the key it uses to look up the field name in the database wrap HTML entities. And specify that we want to convert quote marks using comma and then in uppercase ENT underscore quotes. 
and that we want to output UTF-8 Unicode encoding by adding on comma and then in double quotes UTF-8. Now, if we have data in the database with characters in it which will cause problems for HTML, they will be replaced by HTML entity codes. We can demonstrate this graphically with the extreme example of putting in a name with the angle brackets used in HTML tags. With HTML entities, this causes no problem. They're displayed in the HTML just as we want. And we can see in the source that they're replaced by HTML entity codes. But if we try to return the data raw without it using HTML entities, that field becomes invisible in the browser window because the browser thinks it's encountered an opening HTML tag. Now apply HTML entities to the password and secrets fields as well. There's no need to do this for ID as this is bound to be an integer so it can't cause that problem. We've displayed the full set of data from the database and arranged it in alphabetical order by name but it's messy. Let's practice interspersing PHP with HTML to output the data as a table. A basic HTML table is provided for you in this chapter in the working files. Open this up in Komodo Edit and see if you can intersperse the PHP and the HTML to get the desired output with the table header at the top and the data rows containing the data from the database. A possible answer is provided in the same folder of the working files.